Now the latest on a deadly shooting that was breaking last night at 5. And Pawtucket police remain on Harrison Street tonight, not far from where a 29-year-old man was shot late yesterday afternoon. We learned late last night that he died from his injuries. Eyewitness News reporter Madeline Wright spoke to people who say they heard the shots. She joins us from Pawtucket with the Blackstone Valley Mobile Newsroom. Pawtucket police searching for the person who shot and killed a 29-year-old man on Halloween. Oh, they haven't found him. Well, that's, that's scary. Police aren't saying in what direction the suspect fled or anything about the circumstances of the shooting, but they did say it happened on Harrison Street. There were police all over the place in the SUV-type vehicles. After the crime scene tape came down, neighbors say police stayed on scene all night. They were still on scene Tuesday morning, parked outside this house on Harrison Street, near where residents heard the shooting. I heard the like three or four gunshots. It was like a bow, 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 bow. Somehow the injured victim was able to make his way to the corner of Cedar and Garden Streets a short distance away. Bystanders called 911 around 4 o'clock Monday afternoon. The victim gave police a brief statement about the shooting before succumbing to his injuries at Rhode Island Hospital. Unfortunately, it's bad. I have a son, my, my youngest son is 28. If something happened, something like that happened to him, I don't know how I'm going to be. Monday night, police cordoned off this business close to where the victim was found. That business was back open Tuesday, but the shooter is still at large. I hope they uh, catch the person who did it. The shooting has neighbors understandably on edge. Coming up new at 6 o'clock, we'll take a closer look at recent violence in the city. Live in Pawtucket with the Blackstone Valley Mobile Newsroom. Madeline Wright, Eyewitness News. No, at 6 tonight, we looked back and found that since June, Pawtucket has seen some violent crimes, including two shootings that injured five people, and they happened in the same neighborhood where a man was killed yesterday. From the Blackstone Valley Mobile Newsroom, Eyewitness News reporter Madeline Wright is live in Pawtucket with more details. Mike, police are zeroing in on this house on Harrison Street. They've been parked out here all day long, and about half an hour ago, more police officers showed up. They escorted two women who apparently live here into the house. Now, it's not clear what connection this house has with the shooting investigation, a shooting which, as you can imagine, has neighbors on edge. It was like a bow, 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 bow. A Halloween shooting on Harrison Street in Pawtucket. A 29-year-old man killed. Something like this when it happened in the neighborhood, everybody feels scary. Police aren't saying anything about what led up to the shooting, but they did say bystanders found the victim a short distance away near the corner of Cedar and Garden Streets around 4 o'clock Monday afternoon. He later died at the hospital. Is this a safe neighborhood? No. No. It comes and goes, but there's always been... Um, gangs and there have been some shootings in the past. Back in September in a different part of the city, police found a man shot in the head in a car that crashed on Underwood Street. Also in September, two people were shot near West Avenue and Sterry Streets in what witnesses say was a drive-by shooting. And in late June, three people were shot near West and Jefferson Avenues. As for this latest shooting, the suspect is still at large. Now we should tell find who, who, who killed the, 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 the 29 years old. So far, police have not released the victim's identity. Live in Pawtucket with the Blackstone Valley Mobile Newsroom, Madeline Wright, Eyewitness News.